Portugal Open top seed Thomas Burdick arrived in Uairesh on Tuesday night and wasted no time hitting the practice courts on Wednesday morning. Afterwards, he explained his decision to add Portugal to his 2014 schedule. I went for the first clay court tournament in Monte Carlo, which was, you know, I was looking for a bit more matches, which I didn't get, didn't play that well or the way I want to. And this one was really good, uh, good opportunity to me. I, I had a good time of preparation. I was working hard, and uh, now I just want to play some more matches before before the big two events that they are coming up. And uh, I think this is a this is a great opportunity. Wednesday's centre court order of play had a strong Portuguese flavour, with Italian Filippo Valandri up against local wildcard Gastão Iliash for a place in round two. World number 179, Ilyash took the first set 6-4 and recovered from 3-love down in the second to mount a push for the finish line. The Portuguese number 2 was showing some nice touches on the clay and enjoyed some strong home support from the stands. After breaking in the seventh game and with Valandri serving to stay in the match at 3-5, Ilyash dug deep when he needed to. Towards the end of the second set, he seemed determined to get the job done in straight sets. Moments later, he stood at match point and he quickly wrapped up a 6-4, 6-3 victory to set up a second round meeting with fourth seed Guillermo Garcia Lopez. I have quarterfinals from last year to defend, but I'm not really worried with that. I'm just worried uh, about my tennis and about the way I play and the way I put the intensity level up. Um, and I mean, now just looking forward to enjoy the match and, and do my best because I know if I, if I do my best uh, I, have, I have chances with, uh, with good players like, like him. Recent Casablanca champion Garcia Lopez meanwhile began his week in a slightly more relaxed manner at a nearby beach where he enjoyed a jet ski lesson and cooled off in the Atlantic Ocean for a couple of hours. Back on site, the second men's match on centre saw Portugal's Rui Machado go up against Spanish qualifier Daniel Jimeno Traver for a place in the last eight. Jimeno Traver had won four matches, all in straight sets, to take his place in the second round of the main draw and continued that good form to take the first set 6 3. Machado fought hard throughout a much closer second set and even came up with the occasional moment of magic. Ultimately, though, he couldn't find a way back into the match. Jimeno Traver dominated the second set tiebreak and notched up his fifth straight sets win of the week, 6-3, 7-6. Wednesday in Portugal also witnessed a naming ceremony when the tournament's media centre took the name of Carlos Figueiredo, a former journalist who sadly passed away recently. Carlos was a long-standing and influential feature of the Portugal Open, which is also celebrating its 25th anniversary this year. The last match on center was an all-Spanish affair between third seed Marcel Granollers and Albert Montañez. Montañez came within a game of victory late in the second set, but Granollers leveled the match by grabbing the tiebreak before running out a three-set winner.